I'm James Rogers. I'm Extension Forage Crop Specialist here at the North Central Research Station in Minot, North Dakota. And one of the things that I've been working with since I came here in uh, late February or 1st of March is looking at different forage combinations that we can plant together to kind of get as much as we possibly can out of our growing, summer growing season. So what I've been looking at here is a combination of forage oats and sorghum Sudan that we planted back in um, early June with one planting. So we're looking at combinations of seeding mixtures and comparing that to just a monoculture of oats and sorghum Sudan. So one of the things that I've been trying to, to look at here is what's the optimal seeding rate of the two species together to get the most production. So the plots that we're looking at here are a combination of 25% oats and 75% sorghum Sudan. So that equates to 28 pounds per acre of the oats and 40 pounds per acre of the sorghum Sudan. And we've already taken one harvest from this study already, and that was predominantly the oats. And you can see here the regrowth that we've got with the sorghum Sudan. So to try and optimize production, one of the things that we did was we left a residual cutting height of six inches when we took this first harvest. And we've got a very nice regrowth from the sorghum Sudan. The, the plots that are here next to us, this is kind of a flip of the seeding rate combination. This is 75% oats and 25% sorghum Sudan. And you can see that the oats really dominated this plot and we have very little regrowth of the sorghum Sudan. So I think to, to kind of optimize our production from our sorghum Sudan, we're gonna to have to go with that higher seeding rate of around 75% sorghum sedan and 25% oats. If we look on down the plots a little bit further, you can see <clears throat> sorghum sedan that's a little bit higher, or uh, taller rather, and that's, a, that's a, a monoculture of our sorghum sedan, so that's kind of serving as our check. Uh, another thing that we're gonna be doing is looking at what's our optimal nitrogen rate response to these combinations. For this particular study, what we did was we applied 60 pounds of actual nitrogen early in the season to drive our oats. And then we've come back with another 40 pounds of, of nitrogen to drive our sorghum Sudan. So I think this study is showing promise for the combination of oats and sorghum Sudan. We want to continue this study for at least another couple years to see if, if our responses repeat themselves or the environmental effects from year to year, see how that works for us. But hopefully in the near future, we'll have some solid data and some solid recommendations for our North Dakota producers.